girl friends, I'm Bianca Renee, and you're watching Bianca Renee today, and today is part, what part are we on, four? Part four of my rice water rinse challenge. I said this was going to be my last rice water rinse, but then I realized this literally can't be because after I apply this, I have to come back and show you how it worked, obvi. So I think I'm gonna just show you how I made this last little concoction, apply it to my hair, and then I'm gonna come back next week for my final concluding thoughts on my favorite rice, my favorite length to ferment, if it worked, my end of the month results after four tries, and just if I'm gonna continue or not. So if you wanna see my absolute final results of my rice water rinse after doing it for a complete month, make sure you hit that subscribe button and the bell so you're notified as soon as I post a new video. But now back to our regular scheduled programming. Oh, snaps. Okay, let me tell you about this little mix right here. I wanted to let this ferment for two days instead of just one. It is currently almost 9 p.m. So I've actually let this sit for 56 hours instead of 48 hours. This is going to be the longest that I let it ferment. And just by looking at it, there's like bubbles. It's bubbling. I'm nervous. <laughs> I think we've upset the beast. I definitely see more like particles coming up let me shake this a little bit Ooh, guys I'm nervous this time I did add peppermint oil I'm gonna show you how I made this but this already looks a little more potent than the other ones but before I apply it to my hair let me show you exactly how I made this rice water rinse this time I'll be using white best matte rice and I'm gonna grab one cup of this and put it into a strainer rinse off the rice in the sink and clean it up so it doesn't have any whatever might be lurking in the bag. Then I'm grabbing a mason jar and I'm going to grab the clean rice and put it inside the jar. Just put it all in there. Then I'm going to fill up the remainder of the jar with water at room temperature. This time I'll be adding peppermint oil as my essential oil to help get rid of that weird funky smell. And this actually is going to help stimulate hair growth. It helps eliminate dandruff prevents the scalp from feeling too dry, and also gives hair a nice healthy shine. Now I'm gonna let this sit in a warm area for two days. And that's how we got to this point here. So I wanted to let it sit for 48 hours, ended up doing it for 56 hours because I just got home from my Valentine's Day vacation, and I'm really scared to see how this smells. I've made it through all my other three rice water rinses. If you haven't watched those videos, make sure you go back and watch those. I use different types of rice in each video, but I have a feeling that my smell good streak might come to an end tonight. We'll see how well that peppermint worked. But before I apply the rice water to my hair, let's do a length check. I know it's what you guys really want to see. It's all you care about is length, 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 all right? Let's stretch it out, let's, you know, do our lunges so we get the full stretch capacity. And pulling right from here, we are now, I think we're still at the third button. There we go. Right at the third line. So I don't think it really grew from last week. But, I mean, a little bit past that third line now, if you really want to stretch it. So, I don't know, not really blown away between now and last week, but I am going to do it one more time. And this potent guy right here might just do the trick. So, I'm going to open this for the first time. I'm so nervous. Oh, my gosh. Oh, I'm so big on smells. And I have to put this in my hair. Okay, here we go. It just smells like peppermint. <coughs> there's a little, there's a, a slight after scent that's probably the rice, but the peppermint is definitely taking over. I'm really not even a fan of peppermint. That's why I didn't buy it in the first place, but you guys wanted me to, and I know peppermint is also good for your scalp, so I was like, why not? But it smells like peppermint with the rice after smell, but I am going to kind of give it a nice little shake just so all the 
nutrients don't sink to the bottom. Let's get everything we need. That way I'm not just smelling the oils that have separated from the water. Okay, let's try again, just to make sure. It smells like it wants to be smelly with peppermint. We'll see, we're, we're just gonna see. So at this point I'm going to strain it in my little strainer here. Just getting what we need. Now I'm gonna pour this into my squirt bottle, but I'm not even using the squirt. I'm just going to dunk it all on my head in the shower. All right guys, here we go. The final rice water rinse concoction using basmati rice and peppermint oil. Now let's get in the shower and dunk it on my curls. All right, it's shower time. And as you can see, my curls look perfectly fine and I really don't even need to wash it. But you know, this is what I do for you guys. Can't say I don't love you. So first I'm gonna rinse my hair and apply the shampoo and conditioner by Rizos Curls. And now I'm going to apply my rice water rinse on clean detangled hair. Here we go. Oh, it was so cold. I always forget that part, but I'm getting it all on my scalp, especially that's where our hair grows, and also throughout the length of my hair. It's also important to give yourself a nice little scalp massage so that the peppermint and the rice water rinse can stimulate hair growth on the scalp and also make your hair nice and shiny and stronger. And then I also decided to add a deep conditioner on top of the rice water rinse. I definitely like using a deep conditioner with my rice water rinse. It saves time and also adds more moisture to this protein filled type treatment. Then I put my hair up and under a shower cap and I also use my hothead heat cap and I let it sit for a good 45 minutes. Fresh out the shower, here is how my hair looked now that I rinsed out the shampoo, conditioner, rice water, and my deep conditioner. Just like in my other videos, I don't think my hair looks amazing after just using the rice water. It just looks like wet hair that really needs some product. I don't think it's soft. I don't think it's easy to detangle. It's just wet hair. Let me do a little length check while it's wet, just to double check. All right, we're a little bit past that third line on this side. And right at the third line, barely on this side. If anything, I think my hair might have had enough of this protein. I've always been told to only do protein treatments once a month, and this is technically like doing a protein treatment every single week. So I think I need to chillax with all this rice water rinse. This will be my last one, at least for this month. If anything, I might start doing it once a month and give you guys updates on Instagram. But before you go, make sure you leave a comment down below and let me know your thoughts on this rice water rinse. Are you doing it yourself? Is it working for you? Have you done it before? Do you think it's doing anything to my hair? Give me all your thoughts and conclusions and then we will discuss everything next week. And I give you guys updates all the time on Instagram at Ms. Bianca Renee. So make sure you're watching my Instagram story. I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching Bianca Renee today.